Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As the murder inquiry progresses, Lauren Bolton of Coronation Street is not really dead. As police continue to look into Lauren Bolton's disappearance, viewers of Coronation Street are certain that she faked her own death in Weatherfield. As the inquiry into Lauren Bolton's potential murder progresses, viewers of Coronation Street are certain that she is still alive. In January, Kate Fitton's blonde bombshell abruptly disappeared from Weatherfield. Since then, she has vanished from sight and is only known by her instructor Daniel Osborne, Rob Mallard, and her former boss Roy Cropper, David Nielsen. After blood and human tissue were discovered on an object from her apartment, D.S. Swain confirmed the discovery of a probable murder weapon, which caused the situation to drastically change. The old businessman was taken into custody without delay and placed under remand until his next court appearance. ITV viewers can expect to watch police reenact the teen's final known movements in the precinct in order to help track down any unaccounted for evidence on her whereabouts. Fans posted their doubts online on X, the platform that was formerly known as Twitter. A commenter wrote, I don't think Lauren is dead. They may be detaining her someplace, they are unaware that she is. Someone else concurred, saying, Lauren's certainly not dead, right? It seems far too contrived. Lauren is not dead, reiterated a third, and a fourth person added, it's pretty obvious that Lauren isn't even dead. In order to learn the truth about Lauren's situation, Daily Star put one of the most well-liked creative AI tools, Gemini, to the test as tensions on the street grow. The show implied that the actress might have faked her own death in order to protect herself when the question about the cafe worker's whereabouts was posed. We were informed that Lauren might be a part of a witness protection program, which would need her to pose as dead in order to be safe. The show continued by speculating that her disappearance might have been a part of a larger plot on the cobbles. A more dramatic twist would involve Laren fabricating her death as part of a larger scheme, maybe to get revenge on someone or get out of a sticky situation, Gemini went on. ITV executives are notorious for deceiving viewers, and the system noted that they might be making them believe Lauren is dead, only to reveal she's alive later with a different explanation. On Reddit, several users are certain that Lauren might not have been slain but rather got into a precarious scenario and unintentionally killed someone. A user wrote, perhaps Lauren isn't injured. She struck someone, spilling their blood, then fled and went into hiding out of fear. Yeah, maybe there has been a murder and Lauren did it, said another. This actually seems like a plausible explanation, echoed a third. It's odd, though, that she refused to come out of hiding to stand up for Roy. Ultimately, he showed her nothing but kindness. Unless, naturally, she is traveling somewhere without a cell phone, internet, or social media connection. Philip Middlemas, 60, a Coronation Street classic who spent 26 years on the ITV soap opera, appears unrecognizable in a rare TV reunion with Denise Welch. 26 years after leaving the soap opera, he made an unusual TV appearance. During the years 1990-1998, Philip's most well-known character on the ITV serial opera was Des Barnes, a love rat. The actor wore a chic black jacket over a white t-shirt and has short white hair these days. On Monday, April 29th, he made a comeback to the small screen, joining the Loose Women panel and getting back together with Denise Welch, his on-screen wife from before. His most notable plot had him ruining Raquel's engagement party in order to make her confess that she wasn't truly in love with Curly Watts. Philip went away from acting after Coronation Street and played in the ITV drama Where the Heart is from 2000 to 2006. He last made an appearance on Doctors in 2014. Philip reached his lowest point in 2012 when he was officially declared bankrupt following the 2008 financial crisis, which caused him to lose all of his life savings on an African film project. Giving the whole story away to the Manchester Evening News, he revealed, it was partially funded by me, but I didn't have the funds to finish the movie. The filming came to an abrupt stop. It was almost two-thirds of the way down the line. It's been a challenging period. It's a long time to support oneself without any income, three and a half years. I've had to ask friends and family for money. A victim of the most costly bribery scandal in history, Philip was accused of high-level corruption in Ghana. 
he revealed how the experience turned his life upside down in an interview with Good Morning Britain in 2021, which resulted in the loss of his house and the development of PTSD and panic attacks, according to The Mirror. He said, I ended up losing the house, the car, during the program. He has persistently refuted every accusation even in the midst of the chaos. Regarding allegations of bribery and corruption connected to Airbus's £50 million sale of C-295 military aircraft to the Ghanaian government, the UK's serious fraud office was keeping an eye on him for possible prosecution. After a four-year probe involving more than 12 countries, Airbus agreed to pay a record-breaking $4 billion fine to the US, UK, and France in 2019. The investigation showed that the business had bought off government officials and buried the payments within a convoluted web of international wrongdoing. In July 2020, Interpol published a red alert for him and the Ghanaian government extensively disseminated it through all media channels. When I saw the red notice had been issued, my first thought was, oh my god, he said. The worst individuals on the planet are all over it. It stated that he might be using the identity desk barns while traveling. I know it seems silly, but I could come up with a better one. He also revealed that two of his former co-stars had supported him during this difficult time. Charlie Lawson, Jim McDonald, has been a great friend, Simon Gregson, Steve McDonald, he said. You find out who your real friends are. Mikey North, star of Coronation Street, calls the split storyline a real shame. The breakup between Gary Windass and Sarah Barlow in Coronation Street, as played by Mikey North, was described as a real shame. The soap opera couple dated from 2016 to 2019, but Sarah ended things with Gary to keep her kids safe after he became engaged with risky loan shark Rick Nalon. But given that Maria is getting rid of Gary next week and Sarah recently broke up with Damon Hay after his incarceration, it's possible that their romance may blossom again. After growing closer in recent weeks, North has now stated that he believes the ex-couple will always have that feeling for each other. I've always said the way that Gary and Sarah's relationship came to an end years ago was a real shame. They were really happy with each other and had been through a lot, he said. They were a really good couple and from a personal point of view, it was a really happy time at work. I thoroughly enjoyed those years working with the Platts and got really nice storylines out of it. North continued when questioned if Gary might still be in love with Sarah, saying, I suppose there will always be something lingering because of what they went through. They are most likely the only individuals who are aware of each other's darkest secrets and they both know them. No matter what, I believe they will always have a strong affection for one another. The actor also talked on Gary and Maria's impending divorce, saying, they've been through a lot together and the family has grown, especially with Jake there as well. I believe he now has the family he has always desired. Obviously when something as big as this happens, it just throws that spanner in the works. At this moment, I don't think anyone could be truly happy with everything that's going on, so it really has thrown their relationship and it will be interesting to see how they can come through this, or not.